Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching All The Beer No Idea. I'm Baz, we're back with another one. And now we've got something really different. Well, I think it's really different. It's not, it's a, a style of beer that I don't think I've ever, ever had. Uh, and it was picked up from Waitrose. I picked two of them up, two different flavors, an original one and a different flavored one. Uh, it's two for three quid. And what we've got coming up uh, out of Edinburgh is a Krabby's original alcoholic ginger beer coming in at 4% in a 500ml bottle. Uh, I do like the label, it's quite a traditional, say traditional, you know, it's got it's got something oldy worldy about it. Uh, there's the bottle cap. I like the bottle cap as well, that sort of matches in with the label. So yeah, like I said, it's it's something totally different and I, I don't even think I've ever had a, an alcoholic ginger beer. So uh, bear with me for two ticks because I left the old bottle opener over there. Yeah, like I say, I don't think I've had anything. So I mean, I'm not gonna know whether it's a good alcoholic ginger beer. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. So uh, we'll get this out now and crack on with it and see what we get. It's been in the fridge. I assume these are these are supposed to be chilled, <laughs> and I'm pretty certain there's not going to be any sediment. It's not going to be bottle conditioned or anything either. So, uh, I know my glass is a little bit dirty. I did use it before. I didn't bother giving it a proper clean. So, apologies to all you glass freaks that, that like to criticise me because my glass isn't perfectly clean. We'll give her a tap. There we go, bubbles off. So, alcoholic ginger beer in a glass. Uh, golden sort of, golden amber color if you like. Just to, I'd say golden, let's just stick with golden color. Uh, carbonation, not much going up the glass. The head's gone straight away. There was lots of fizz on the pour. So, let's give it a swirl and uh, see what we get. Just quickly on the front, made to our unique Steeps ginger recipe. And that's it really so yeah cool yeah you definitely really get the ginger in there it's almost along the lines of a cider really I would say on the nose but with a ginger smell uh, yeah different that's all I can say so uh, let's dive in cheers Oh yeah, ooh, oh dear. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, what can I say, what can I say? Oh, it's got a real, really a strong in ginger taste. And you're sort of like getting that ginger burn, if you like, on the back of your throat. Uh, it's clean, it's crisp. It's refreshing, like I say, very much along the lines of a cider. And then you're getting that sort of ginger warming burn, if you like, down the back of your throat off this. Drink's really easy in all honesty, but that, that burn down the back of the throat isn't particularly pleasant for me. I'll, I'll, I'll try and talk then, because I was having a mouthful. Uh, and I've got another bottle as well to do. Quite smooth, carbonation's quite nice. Actually feels like a, I know maybe these don't really have a body, if you like, to the beer, but it does feel quite thick and weighty, if you like. 4%, you're not getting that at all. Uh, what's it like? I don't know. If I'm brutally honest, do I like it? Uh, not particularly, not particularly. I don't mind it. I just don't like that sort of burn on the back of the throat. Uh, I mean, it's probably how it's supposed to be. I'm, I'm guessing Krabby's are, are one of the, the better brands for ginger beer. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's all I can do is just give my opinion on it. Would I buy it again? No. 
it's not a drink I don't think I'm it, well I know it's I know it's a drink that I don't enjoy I do now anyway I know I don't enjoy it now uh, but yeah Krabby's original would I recommend it I suppose if you love ginger you're gonna love this uh, I don't mind ginger but don't like that burn on the back of the back of the throat to be honest so uh, yeah if you want to give it a go give it a go uh, if you've had it before if you're a bit more of a uh, a ginger beer connoisseur shall we say feel free to comment and uh and let me know a little bit more really uh and that's it for this uh ginger beer review so thank you all for watching hope you've enjoyed it and uh, i'll see you again on another one cheers <laughs>